So what is shear center? Shear center is sometime in case of angle you can say it is here in case of a C section or a channel section you see shear center is here in case of a I section this is here. So what is shear center and how to define it or how to locate this okay. So welcome again to my channel if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because in upcoming days you will be definitely benefited and if you would like to contribute something towards the growth of this channel please join membership and so without wasting time let's start what is shear center by definition shear center is defined as the point on the beam section where load is applied and no twisting is produced so your main aim or motto is to cancel twisting okay there should not be any twisting when you apply a load on any beam okay clear so before eliminating or before cancelling twisting let's see how or why this twisting happen okay simply consider this beam section and the section looks like this let's say the section is a channel section or a c section whatever you can call it okay so a channel section looks like this this is the cross section of this beam okay now consider any section so for this beam or this type of loading what is the shear force diagram so simply shear force diagram looks like this this is your sfd or shear force diagram so at any section the shear force act on the section okay so let's say you are applying the load just on the member or just on the section let's say this is your load now to counter this load of course there will be some internal force and internal force flow in this section like this okay so this is the flow of internal force okay now if you simply consider any point okay let consider this point let's say this is our point okay so about this point if you take moment of all these forces you will get due to this force you get a moment like this due to this force also again though the distance is very small let's consider this section again this is your section okay this is your applied load here and the internal force flow like this clear this is the internal force due to the applied load now if you take moment about this point so you are getting a moment due to this internal forces due to this internal forces you are getting an anti-clockwise moment let's say this is negative again due to this vertical internal forces you are getting again an anti-clockwise moment this is also negative and due to this forces let's say uh, this is coincide with the point so there is no moment okay let's say this is the point so there is no moment caused due to these forces so this is zero clear and as this external load this is the external load this is the external load as this pass through this point itself and due to that reason the moment caused by this external load is also zero so ultimately there is a net negative moment caused due to this external load and due to this particular cross section okay so your twisting is occurring here now to eliminate this twisting what you need to do you need to apply this external load at some location where the net moment will be zero okay so let's find out some point so let's say this is your section okay let's say this is your section and due to external force the shear flow now looks like this this is the shear flow this is the shear flow in wave and this is the shear flow in top flange okay and let's say our external force is here we are applying external force at this point 
okay so definitely now take moment about this point now distance from this point to the center of this flange bottom flange is let's say d by 2 this is d by 2 also the distance from this point to the center of top flange is d by 2 okay so if you take moment about this point moment caused by this shear flow is anti-clockwise and moment caused by this shear flow about this point is clockwise okay so ultimately they are producing a couple so this internal forces and this internal forces are simply producing a couple so there is a moment net moment clockwise net moment let's say this is positive and again here you can see uh, here due to this vertical force flow internal force of course and at a distance let's say this is C okay this is C at a distance there is external force so due to this resultant two forces this is one force and this is resultant force in the wave they are also causing a couple so here your moment is anti-clockwise okay so definitely if you adjust C in such a manner that this anti-clockwise moment is counteracted by this clockwise positive moment there is no net moment so your net moment become zero and there is no twisting so this is the concept of shear center now let's apply this concept to other sections okay so first consider a angle section a equal angle section okay so this is the equal angle section due to external shear force the flow will be like this okay this is the external this is the internal sorry this is the internal force due to your applied external forces now if you apply let's say you are applying your external load at this point definitely due to this location there is a couple and there is no such anti couple or there is no such counter moment so there is twisting and to eliminate this twisting what you need to do you simply need to apply this load at this point once you apply the load at this point or at the intersection of the internal forces all the forces pass through this point so the net moment becomes zero now what about uh, the angle section when these legs are unequal this is the case when your legs are unequal and again the same logic applies here if you apply the load at this point or at the intersection of the internal forces simply all the forces pass through this point so there is no moment produced by the internal forces as well as your external forces okay let's say external forces passes through this point okay whatever may be the direction it doesn't matter simply as this pass through this point so due to this coplanar forces as all of them passes through a single point there is net moment equal to zero clear now what about your i section simply i section is a symmetric section so if you apply a load through this point through the cg of the section the internal forces which is flow like this okay and this is the wave and here it flows like this okay and this is the bottom flange here it flows like this okay so as all the internal forces are at equidistance from this center there is net moment equal to zero okay so that's all about shear center if you have any queries or any doubt please don't forget to mention this in comment section and if you like this video don't forget it to share it because sharing is caring thank you guys for watching